let's just have a look for a minute at the let clause, which is a way of doing a local abbreviation or a local definition. Say you have a relatively complex computation that you're going to include in one of your constraints, and you're going to use it more than once. Now, you could type it out more than once, but that's extra effort and you might make a mistake. So instead, you could use a let clause to introduce a new identifier that has the value of that expression and then use that identifier in the subsequent uh, constraint. So for example, if our income is expressed in terms of the sum of our, uh, of our salaries for all of our jobs, okay, we could use a let clause which says exactly that. We could introduce a new variable or identifier called income and then we could have uh, expression, in this case it's an if-then-else expression, that says if someone is in, um, unemployed then their income is less than 100, else their income is greater than or equal to 100. It's just as if we had typed in the long expression in both the places where we used it.